In a 2019 presidential debate, Tulsi Gabbard called out Kamala and her record on stage. Now, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. Ooh, Kamala Harris did not like that. Tulsi Gabbard is a former presidential candidate and congresswoman, and she joins us now. Tulsi, great to see you. To add to that inconsistency, we now have Kamala today condemning Russia. How do we make sense of the vice president? <laughs> that, that's a great question, Will. Uh, another, another note of hypocrisy coming from Kamala Harris in the, this, this administration is, as you mentioned, how during her illustrious record as attorney general in California, you gave some of those examples, she kept prisoners in prison longer than their sentences to use them as free slave labor. Yet at the same time, these very same people are condemning other countries for doing the exact same thing. It, it doesn't make any sense. The thing that struck me when I saw Kamala Harris's tweet and her statement expressing this outrage about Brittany Griner, first of all, let me say, um, I don't think anybody anywhere in the world, world should be imprisoned for marijuana possession, period, full stop. When you look at Kamala Harris's statement on Twitter, she's expressing this outrage about Brittany Griner. My question for her and the Biden administration is, where is your outrage? for your fellow Americans who are sitting in prison today here in the United States of America because of minor marijuana violations. How come you are not fighting as hard for them to be returned home and reunited with their families as you are for Brittany Griner? And to me, the message to the American people through their actions is loud and clear, is that if you are rich and powerful or famous, then you will get special treatment from this administration. If you are not, eh, we don't care about you and we're gonna let you sit there and rot in jail. Tulsi, do you think that's what it is? It's simply sheer unadulterated elitism? Or is it a reflection of Kamala Harris's emptiness, that she is simply willing to play to wherever the current climate, stream, river is flowing? When it was flowing in California to prosecute marijuana, she was happy to ride that stream. And when it's unpopular, she's happy to go on a morning show and pretend that she listened to Tupac Shakur years before he ever came out and laugh along to the idea that she smoked marijuana. It seems she's an empty vessel. Yeah, well, Will, I think it's both. And, and as, as you pointed out, the evidence really is in her record, uh, not only on this, this issue, but I know there are a lot of examples on other issues where, unfortunately, like too many politicians, it seems like she puts her finger to the wind and decides what things she's supposed to be angry about on any given day. And then if, he, if it becomes politically inconvenient or damaging, then she'll switch the other way. We saw this, I know health care was one issue during the presidential campaign. On Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, she gave almost opposing answers on that issue, right. leaving even the mainstream media, like I know the New York Times saying, well, what, what do you actually, where do you stand on, on health care? <laughs> and, and so, you know, I, I think it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that we have a vice president of the United States who doesn't appear to stand for anything other than herself. Oh, you make a great point, though. You know, condemning Russia for something that the vice president has very little control while leaving Americans to suffer under the punishment of those very similar laws right here in America where you do have control. Tulsi Gabbard, you called her out then. Thank you for exactly. calling her out again tonight. So. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.